Welcome to Zoological World today we are discuss about freshwater jellyfish the most abundant jellyfish in the United States. Many people might be shocked to learn that the tiny, harmless Craspedicusta sourby, a hydromedushan jellyfish, is the most commonly found jellyfish in the United States. Moreover, it's not found in the waters off the coasts, but in quiet bodies of freshwater. Where did it come from, and how on earth did it get into that flooded gravel pit in your neighborhood? Read on to find out. Amazing facts about the freshwater jellyfish A bloom of freshwater jellyfish is usually either all male or all female. The polyp of this freshwater jellyfish lacks tentacles, which is unusual. During times of cold weather or drought, the jellyfish turns into a podocyst. This is probably what allowed it to be carried all over the world from China. The jellyfish is so small that the stinging cells in its tentacles can't penetrate human skin so it is harmless to humans. Freshwater jellyfish classification and scientific name The scientific name of the freshwater jellyfish is Craspedicusta sourby. Craspedicusta comes from craspedon, an irregular new Latin word that means, velum, and kistis, a Greek word for, bladder. The species name is probably in honor of the sourby family of British naturalists. There's only one species of sea sourby, and no subspecies. Freshwater jellyfish appearance There are two mature forms of the sea sourby, a polyp or a medusa. The medusa is shaped like a bell, with a structure called a velum attached to its underside. It is rarely more than an inch in diameter, translucent with a tinge of white or green and about 99% water. Inside the bell is the equivalent of a stomach, one circular canal and four canals that radiate out from the stomach. The stomach has a mouth with four lips, and the radial canals each bear a reproductive organ. The polyp is shaped like a club. Only about 0.039 of an inch tall, it doesn't have tentacles but a cap that holds nematocysts. It also has a mouth and holds onto a surface with a round base. It can contract to half its height or stretch to twice its height and can capture prey many times bigger than it is. Sometimes a colony of polyps can be seen eating the same prey. Freshwater jellyfish tentacles The edge of the medusa's bell bears as many as 400 tentacles of various lengths. The longer ones help the animal swim, while the shorter ones help it feed. These tentacles have nidocytes which in turn hold nematocysts, which paralyze prey and pull it into the mouth. After the food is digested, the waste is expelled from the mouth. The tentacles also have eye spots at their tips. Freshwater jellyfish predators and prey Freshwater jellyfish eat zooplankton, which are tiny animals found in the water. All the jellyfish has to do is extend its tentacles and wait for one of these animals to brush against them. The prey is then poisoned, paralyzed and drawn into the jellyfish's mouth. C. Sourby prefers Daphnia and copods as prey. In turn, the jellyfish is eaten by crayfish and turtles. Fish tend to avoid it. Freshwater jellyfish in fishing and cooking sea sourby is not deliberately fished nor is it used in cooking. Though other types of jellyfish are used in cooking, sea sourby is too small and fragile. Freshwater jellyfish population It's probably not wrong to believe there are millions of these freshwater jellyfish at any one time, but getting a precise handle on the population is an inexact science. In some years there will be abundant blooms of jellyfish, and in other years they are scarce.